Okay. Are all presents? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, let's have a prayer first. In the name of the Father, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine providence, we will learn how to listen attentively to our teacher. Feel our teacher with knowledge and wisdom on teaching us the things that can help us grow. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. May we participate actively in the discussions and activities so that we could learn more while having fun. We ask you to protect us from any harm and danger. Especially in this time of pandemic. Help us to be responsible enough in doing the activities that our teacher will give us. Grant that we recognize you in each of our classmates and teachers. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will you tell me what was our lesson yesterday then? Yes, Hart? Yesterday we learned about personal pronoun. Okay, very good. What is personal pronoun? Personal pronoun is a word that takes place of a noun. Correct. Example, Sally baked cupcakes. She gave me one. What is personal pronoun that takes place the name Sally? Yes, Arlen. Um, pronoun she, ma'am. Why she? Because Sally is a girl. Okay, that's right. What if he is a boy? Pronoun. He is used if it's a boy. Very good. What if they are many? Pronoun they is used if they are many. Okay. Okay, let's have now our new lesson. What are the things that you should remember when having an activity? Ma'am, setting of house rules. Okay, can you give me one? Listen very carefully. Another one? Raise your right hand if you want to answer. Okay, you, you have some ano, additional? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, do not answer in chorus. Okay, very good. Now that you are familiar with our house rules, I want everybody to listen to this song carefully because you will not just listening, but you also need to understand the lyrics. Let's hear this song and have fun. Okay? Okay, just listen. Where's the monkey? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the bird? Where is it? Where is it? On the tree. On the tree. Where's the snake? Where is it? Where is it? 
Okay, from the song that you hear, what have you noticed? They're always asking where the things and animals are. Okay, is, is, is that good habit? No, ma'am. Okay, if you were them, what should you do with your things? Well, I will put my things in organized so that if I need it, it's easier for me to look for. Okay, it's a good habit and you will not be late to school. I have here some sentences for you to read and learn. Remember the house rules. Okay, now will you read the sentences and take note of the underlined words. Okay, letter A, can you read? And his, and his feet family loaded the cat in the car. Okay, look at the cat. No, and his family loaded the cat in the car. Next. Andy was surprised when he saw Tabby in his room. Okay, Andy was surprised when he saw Tabby in his room. Let her see. Tabby slept on Andy's bed. Yes, Tabby slept on Andy's bed. Let her be. Andy understood that when he wants to sleep on his bed, he would get into it before Tubby could. Okay, very good. Then letter E. Andy put his cap on the hook above the mirror. Okay. So letter F. After a few days, Tubby started sleeping under Andy's bed. Okay, let's analyze the illustration. From the illustration. Where is Andy's family loaded the cat? Well, the cat is in the car, ma'am. Okay, correct. What word is used to show where is the cat? The word in tells where the cat is, ma'am. Okay, perfect. How about in the second picture? Where is Tubby? Tubby is in Andy's room, ma'am. Okay, Jack. What word is used to tell where is Tubby is? The word in, ma'am. Okay, you're right. Next. Where does Andy sleep? Andy slept on his bed before Tubby could. Okay, good. What is used to tell where Andy sleeps? The word on tells Andy sleeps. Okay, next number five. Where is the cup of Andy? Yes, Andy's Marie. cap is on the hook and above the mirror. Very good. What word is used to tell where the cup is? The word on and above is used to tell where the cat of Andy is. Okay, very good. On and above. Next, after a few days, where did Tubby start sleeping? Tubby started sleeping under Andy's bed. Oh, yes, correct. I'm so happy because all of you answered our lesson well. Will you read your answer a while back, class? In, above. On and under. Okay, can you tell what do we call these words? Preposition. Okay, what do these preposition shows? Location, ma'am. Okay, next. What is prepositions? Prepositions are words used to connect noun or pronoun in the sentence. Yes, a prepositions are word. A word sentence. Used to connect noun or pronoun in the sentence. Well, very good. When, when do we use these prepositions? We use these prepositions in telling location. Yes, we use these prepositions in telling location. Okay, let's now have our group activity. Now, class, you will use these prepositions in, on, above, or under in a sentence. Our directions is fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions to be used to complete each sentence and you're going to draw. I will group you now into four. Group one, group two, group three, and group four. Okay, I will give you five minutes. Start. Okay, let's have now group one. My, my book is in my bag. bag. May I see your drawing? Okay, that's correct. Very good. Now, uh, group two. President Duterte's spread is above the board. Okay, very good. Group three. Carlos Ballpen is on the table. May I see your drawing? Okay, very good. That's correct. 
Group four. The, the missing comb of heart is found under his desk. desk. Very good, children. Okay, let's now have our peer group. Group yourselves into two. No, then answer the blanks with the correct prepositions to be used to complete each sentence. I will give you five minutes to answer. Okay. Number one. We, we waited, waited under, under the, the shade of the tree. tree. Okay, very good. That's not group two. We, we keep, keep our clothes in a closet. Okay, another group. Dogs usually stay under the table when people are eating. Okay, another group. The numerator of a fraction is found above the line. Okay, last group. He placed the bag on the table. Okay, very good. I think you know already our lesson. Let's answer orally. Kindly give me an example of prepositions that you've learned. Yes, Norma? On. On. Okay, another one. In. Another one. Under. Another one. Above. Okay, yes. Okay, let's have a test. Do this in a clean sheet of paper and to be passed after five minutes. Read and complete the sentences below by using in, on, under and above. Okay, I will give you five minutes to answer. Okay, that's enough. Okay, number one. We came to a narrow street and jumped above it. Okay, very good. Number two. Her mother told her to put her things in the cabinet. Okay, number three. I am sorry, my pet left some prints on your new carpet. Okay, check. Number four. The, my teacher advised me to stay under my chair when an earthquake occurs. Okay, number five. My little brother hangs his picture above the television set. Okay, check. Okay. Okay, how many got five?